I got an email from Jim and he said, you have lots of tools, but my question's not about the tool, it's about the handles. Why all the different links? Well, it has to do with physics and all that sort of junk, but let me pull out my biggest and best example. This is a scraper. Now, uh, Turner told me a long time ago that for every inch of scraper you want to have hang out over the tool rest, you should have seven inches of handle behind it because of the physics involved. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's look at it this way. Here we go, we're turning our bowl. This is like a teeter-totter when you use the tool rest, right? Well, that's perfectly balanced. But the force this spinning bowl makes as it touches down on the tip is like a fat kid sitting on the other end of the teeter-totter. And you're the skinny little kid up on the other end and you don't want to get flipped off. So, you, you do what we do is called counterbalance. We put a lot of weight out here. So no matter how big that kid is, this wants to pull down naturally, right? So if I'm in here turning, and I have this sticking out this far, all that pressure pushing down on there is counterbalanced by all this weight and leverage out here, so it's a nice smooth ride. If I was doing this, whew, that'd be a problem.